Hi everyone and welcome to Coin Treasure Hunt. Right, firstly, on front of you, you'll see what I have. These are my um, 50p bags. Okay, there's bag one. There's bag two right there. There's bag three. Here's bag four. <laughs> and here's the bag I'm going to be doing today. So anyway, 50p coin hunt. Let's dive in. Right, okay. Here's hoping that there's some treasures inside. There's lots of shiny shiny coins. You're very shiny. There's a Christopher Ironside right there. There we go. Oh, there we go. 2020. I didn't even check to see. Uh, hmm. Well, I didn't actually see the dates on it, so it could have been a um, I can't even think of the name of it now. <laughs> Mine's gone completely blank. The diversity coin. But I think, no, 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 actually this bag is dated. I've checked this bag. I've had this bag um, quite a while, actually. I've had it since September, so I don't think it would have been out then. I think it was out in October, wasn't it? So, no, there definitely won't be one in here. <laughs> there we see, I see another Brexit coin. Sing out there. There's two of them now. Already getting a bit bished and bashed about, aren't they? Here we have a Johnson's Dictionary. The common commemorative, however, it doesn't make the achievement, it doesn't lessen the achievement, any. And also he was um actually a very, very good human being considering what was going on in the world at the time, so. Ah, Peter Rabbit. The tale of Peter Rabbit. Um, if you haven't read that, read. <laughs> it's actually quite, I mean, you know, potentially sort of violent, you know what I mean? And, and what's that? Oh, wow, cool. Absolutely amazing. That's awesome. Woohoo. Gray find. That's actually a really low mintage coin. That's from the 2018 set. And it's the third lowest in that set because you've got um, Peter Rabbit with his eating his radishes, his 1,400,000. Then you've got Flopsy Bunny, his 1,400,000. This is 1,700,000. So very low mintage coin and a, uh, a lovely find to get. So I'm very happy about that. It's actually, you know, it's one it's one of the lowest. I'm trying to think. So you've got Kew Gardens, then you've got Peter Rabbit and the the aforementioned Peter Rabbit and Flopsy Bunny. And then Well that's discounting obviously the the, the Olympic coins. You know, because there are a number of the Olympic coins that are rare. But it's it's as rare as a great deal of the Olympic coins and, and rarer than than quite a few of them as well, so it's right up there with the best coins, I'm going to say. Ah, Paddington. Paddington at the Tower. I still think it's going to be Paddington at the station. Still think so. That's going to be the lowest mintage. Just simple, just Kew Gardens. And another Christopher Iron said. Another one with a. I don't know how that happens. I'm wondering is that like a, a fault with the metal? Is it a metal detecting find? They're usually a bit worse for wear than that. If they're metal detecting finds, but that's definitely something that I've, I've seen in the past, and you know, I've often wondered how it's exactly caused. You know, is it, is it the minting process? Is it something else? Sorry, completely forgot there. Um, VC Heroic Acts, two thousand and six, as you can see, one of a pair of VC coins.
Oh, cool. The um, UK's entry into the EU. See, the uh, UK is no longer in the EU. You can see it there. It's quite a cool design. And uh, this one is a whole lot more sought after now. And the price rose significantly from what it was selling um, pre-Brexit. So, yeah, it's actually quite a sought after coin. That's inevitable that stuff like that is going to happen when there's like a major change that takes place, you know, politically, socially or anything like that. And it's reflected on a coin. So definitely one to keep hold of if you get. And if you are interested in selling them, it will definitely sell up for over face value and quite a bit over face value. Another tale of Peter Rabbit. Girl Guiding, the 100 year anniversary of Girl Guiding. Nice design, that coin. Ah, my favourite, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I do like that. That's actually, um, I, in my last video, I actually wrote a little piece on that and put it up on the screen. I might actually do that on this one because uh, that's a that's another good story too but uh, I won't um I won't let the cat out of the bag or the frog out of the bag this time I tell you um what it is I'll just uh, I'll write it up there for you to have a little read of but uh, I'm an amphibian fan so you know and reptiles and all sorts like that all animals really but Except mosquitoes, I'm not really keen on mosquitoes, I'm gonna say. <laughs> or gnats. I like them. <laughs> Same little biting things. Useless little biting things. Another Brexit. Um that's a hat trick of Brexit coins now. You look very shiny. Ooh, 2017. Is that a Peter Rabbit? Actually, I forget. There is a way of telling on the front. I think with the 50p, if it has 50p written on it, it is a, uh, it's a Peter Rabbit. Without that, it's a 2017. Yeah, I think that's the way it works. Although if it's pointy at the top, it's also potentially a Isaac Newton. But I can't remember where that has 50p written on it. So there's a lot of things to think of. Yes, it's a Peter Rabbit. So yeah, I was right there. If you have, If it has 50 pence written on it, then and you turn over it's going to be the tail of peter rabbit if it doesn't have that most likely be a 2017 shield unless that's flat on top is it there's so much to there's so much to know cool we got another 2008 in taylor of gloucester another good one that one that's fourth in line in that low mintage set after Mrs. Tittlemouse, which is right there. 220. Brexit again. <laughs> Quadruple Brexit. So if people ever ask you, did you have a. a yeah. Did you have Brexit in the. Uh, okay, let's see. Another uh, one with the 50p. This will. Um, I tell you what I mean. That's probably a Peter Rabbit, or it could be a Benjamin. It's a Benjamin. See again, it's got fifty p written on it. So, so you know, you can impress all your friends and say, "Look, I can predict what this point is." Gosh, you look very shiny. Another one, <laughs> and it simply has to be a Brexit coin because this bag was too early for diversity and is it by magic it is that's quintuple <laughs> and you're a shiny shield <laughs> i suppose initially 3.5 million but they're just 10 million altogether so it certainly will not be a a rare coin you know and, and not a sought after one there again striping like i tell you it's kind of cool Kind of my own personal, like, David Bowie-esque one. <laughs> like the coloured one. 
Not nearly as cool though. Ah, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. Or as I sometimes call her, Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> I do like to play around with the letters. I've made all sorts of names. Out of no, not totally. I just changed the, the first letter in, in, in each part of the name in this case. So Mrs. Tig Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> I've done it with all the other characters as well. Some of them are actually very, very funny. <laughs> with them, so. You shall be now known from now on as Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> I think it sounds even better. Shame I can't tell Beatrix has changed the name of him. Miss <laughs> Potter, I would like you to change the name of your character to Mrs. from Mrs. Tiggy Winkle to Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> you gotta have an old giggle. Especially in these crazy times. Back in lockdown again. Oh, <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Another tale of Peter Rabbit. It's uh, not hugely surprising to get it because... Like, a hat trick of that because 19 million 900 thousand, so... There's certainly plenty of them to go around. And representation of the people act. I might also write a piece about this again. I wrote a piece about that. Some very interesting stuff actually that I, I read up about this. But again, I won't. Uh, I won't do a spoiler. I'll just. Uh, I'll write it there. But um, yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting stuff. So. And it, well, you know, it was it was an improvement. But I will say this: it was an improvement, but it wasn't enough of an improvement. Let's put it that way. But it was certainly better than the, uh, than the the, you know the, the situation before that. That's for sure. And again, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I do like that coin. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, actually. <laughs> Actually, no. I'll again. I'll write it. I'll write it down. The name of one of his friends. <laughs> it's funny as hell. Man. Love those stories, man. I absolutely love those stories. And that's the thing. That's the thing about Beatrix Potter. I mean, you're talking about these stories were written in the, the turn of the century, but she was a lot. You know. A lot of the, a lot of the, the, the kind of kids stories now are, are these idyllic sort of things. You know, she was far more real. You know, she was far more real about the, the, the trials and tribulations of life, you know, the, the good, the bad and the dangers. And I think, I th you know, I, I think that that's kind of a, a better way to kind of teach kids rather than teaching them a world through rose tinted glasses, because that's not reality. You know, I know everybody, we all like to have like, innocent and happy childhood and I'm all up for that but you know to let them know that you know not everything is a, is a, is a box of chocolates you know oh yeah <laughs> yeah look at that woohoo Olympic coin yeah come on <laughs> now if you get that you can get that but there was one there was a competition in Blue Peter for that and the kid well a kid at the time um designed that and they got a put on the back of the coin but there were originally it came out the blue peter competition was in 2009 the 2009 version of this coin is worth a lot of money that's 2011 still over face value nowhere near as as rare as the other one because nobody wanted to buy it really <laughs> it wasn't very popular at the time but that that there in itself just makes for the makes for a, 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 a like a rare coin you know it, it turns it rare because not many are made minted and then not many people are interested in it so all factors that increase value so it didn't sell well so there's not many of them about
<laughs> I, am, like, I think I am the world's worst coin sorcerer, like, ever. And another Brexit coin. Good grief. That's now six. Six tuple. Do I know what seven is? <laughs> yes, thankfully, because there's a likelihood I might get seven. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I have no idea what on earth is falling down there. I'll have to count how many it is. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's another one there. Good grief. This is unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's a dictionary. Sorry. <laughs> Johnson's Dictionary. That's two of Johnson's Dictionaries. So I don't even know how many have gone by, but some fell on the ground. So... And I have to pause for a wee second and see if I can find them. Well, I found two of them. So I don't know whether that's the full 20. I have no idea. There might well be a Kew Gardens down the ground somewhere that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Just as utterly. Desperate to get Q curtains. Get me a Q curtains. <laughs> or any of the Olympic coins that I need. <laughs> Every time I get a, a what you call an Olympic coin. Or any time I do. Another striper. Um, I still, here's Benjamin. Where's your wife, Benjamin? Need your wife to come along. No, it's you again, Benjamin. <laughs> I do like you, Benjamin. But I won't say I like your wife more. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> I'm afraid it's true, my old friend. I'm afraid it's true. Oh, Peter Rabbit for a second. I thought it was Lossy Bunny. So that's... Uh, the first Beatrix that came out on the coins, Peter Rabbit, 2016. I always think it's a, a Flopsy Bunny when I say it. Should've put these either way around. And another Benjamin. Hello Benjamin again. So the Kew Gardens is in this one then. <laughs> maybe, just maybe one day I'll be right when I say that. <laughs> I don't think so though. Maybe you've done the wrong place, have you? No, no, and no. Right, now I'm going to look for the uh, key dates and any potential NIFCs out there. Wouldn't that be awesome? And I'll get back to you after that. Well, I'm happy with that hunt. And I have two key dates. Now, as for the commemoratives, for the hat-trick of Christopher Ironside, the quadruple tale of Peter Rabbit, our old friend Benjamin again. Quadruple Benjamin as well. Two of the dictionary. And a brace of the people act. We had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tuple of Brexit coins. <laughs> I think that's the most I've ever had in that one, I have to say. We had the coin celebrating 100 years of girl guiding. BC Heroic Acts. We had the fabulous frog, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. He's fabulous to me anyway. And we had Paddington at the Terror. I think that's the one I get most times these days. <laughs> a 
out of all of them. And then the 2016 Peter Rabbit, which is a cool find. Quite a few. Oh, actually, uh, with the key dates, I had two 2008 Britannias. Didn't get the 2017 Shields today. So there we go. And there we go. We have a grubby one and a not so grubby one. Quite a shiny one, actually. So great. Always good to get them. Last of the Britannias and the lowest midges of the Britannias. Then we had our first representative of the 2018 Beatrix Potter set. Taylor of Gloucester, which is third lowest in that set. No, fourth lowest, not third lowest. And we also got the, the third lowest as well. Oh, I forgot, Miss. Sorry, Taylor of Gloucester, you should have gone before. And then we have Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> you shouldn't have been there, Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. <laughs> And then our star coins of the day. Well, we'll give it to one, but uh, these are all definitely worth a mention. Uh, UK's entry into the EU is a coin that has uh, upped in value significantly since the UK has left the European Union. And then Mrs. Tittlemouse, which is a very, very low mintage coin. But it's a it's a more recent coin, so there's more likelihood you'll find one of them. So it's kind of stuck between these two. But the Olympic Athletics, it's always absolutely wonderful to get them. And because they're 2011 coins, they're getting tougher and tougher to find. So star coin of the day, I think just about. I'll give it to the Olympic Olympic the the Olympic the Olympic Athletics, and a very honourable mention to. These two here, Mrs. Tittlemouse and UK's entry into the EU. So by now you should see a selection of my videos that YouTube have suggested you might like to watch if you've enjoyed this one. And up in the right hand corner you will see the beautiful X marks the spot Tempe coin that will help you to subscribe if you enjoy my content. In the meantime everybody I wish you happy hunting as always and I'll see you again for the next coin treasure hunt. Oh details of the giveaway on coin treasure hunt extra will be in the description so if you want to take part just go visit there and it'll explain how to do it. Take care, everybody, in the meantime. All the best. Bye-bye.